This is Raven from Raven's Reviews, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing part four. I can't believe we're here already. <laughs> part four of the SpongeBob series. We are going to be hand painting some jellyfishes. So let's get into it. Jellyfish. What is the plural for jellyfishes? Is it jellyfishes? Jellyfy? <laughs> Can somebody please tell me? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I ran over and just double checked and the plural for jellyfish is jellyfishes. It just sounds so funny. <laughs> so I quickly wanted to show you my reference art and I am just so excited because these jellyfish are so stinking cute. So as is all of the character art on this set, it just like melts me when I see them and their smiling faces. So I am going in with the perfect pink and the perfect white to create the jellyfish. I also um, go in with the perfect red and a mixture of the perfect white for the dots that go onto the jellyfish later. Uh, and then I go also in with the white gel paint for the outline of the jellyfish. Oh my goodness, I thought as soon as I started, my mermaid heart was swimming out of my chest. I was in the deep blue sea and I was staring at all of the aquatic animals and I was just in heaven. So right smack dab in the middle of this Spongebob series, my ring light broke. And I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's how gorgeous pigmented the colors are. Sometimes I find if I don't have another source of light, like a, a ring light, even though my phone has a light as filming, um, there seems to be, it goes like in and out of focus or the color kind of overexposes. So halfway through I actually just take another light and put it on just to make sure that you guys are truly seeing how glorious these colors are because there's moments with this pink that it looks washed out so I do show it against Patrick and stuff like that just so that you can see the true color it was it was really annoying me at first but I was like it's okay we gonna make this work <laughs> but the perfect pink I did not have to do one thing to it, not mix, not nothing. I just laid her down and she was the perfect jellyfish color. I wonder if these are Pacific sea nettles. They're just so cute. In the previous video, there was such a warm reception as to what I should do with that final nail. And I think we are gonna go with Sandy, Miss Sandy Cheeks. So that final nail will be Sandy and then we're gonna move right into Plankton and the secret recipe and uh, Mr. Krabs. Like we're gonna go all out on the next five nails. <laughs> Going in with the gorgeous Betsy glow in the dark glitter that Mama D gifted me. I am gonna do actually the method I saw Mama Does Nails do. You take a fan brush and just gently tap, 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 and you get all the goodness you need without wasting a lot of product. I really love doing this, and she also does this when embossing, and I was just tickled pink when I saw this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to try some sugar in. So I am so excited because this is so incredibly fine. It doesn't bulk out the nail at all. So I'm just quickly doing the tentacles and then I'm gonna go back in with the sugaring. But I made sure to do this all while the design was wet so that the glitter had something to stick to. Mama does nails, I am screaming. This method to just gently use that fan brush allowed that glitter to just Oh, just gently fall and soak up to perfection and I understand why you're such a big fan of sugaring after doing this I haven't really sugared much and uh, I guess for fear I thought either it would be gritty or it wouldn't decapsulate properly but I promised that 2022 I was gonna get out of any kind of comfort zones and do things that made me uncomfortable because again to become a stronger nail artist you gotta strengthen that muscle right <laughs> so I have never drawn jellyfish before today is the first but I think this glitter added the perfect like mwah, chef's kiss and the fact that it glows in the dark we had to give our jelly some animation right <laughs> Maybe 
this was the big marker for when I brought the other light out just to assist so that the color could actually show its true vibrancy. So I just wanted to show you that glitter for a second time just so you could see how pretty she is. And we're going into that second jelly and we are sugaring her. And I think that this glow in the dark just added the magic to these jellyfish, jellyfishes. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny to me, but they just, they look like they're swimming and bouncing up the nail and it just looks so pretty. Before I move on to the other steps of the nail art, I just want to seal all this magic in and also so that I have a very smooth and luxurious surface to do the nail art. So the outlining and the little dots in the jellyfish. When that bottle goes on its side and you gotta shake it from left to right, you know you're getting to the end. <laughs> I am so grateful that in my last big haul, I got an extra top coat because this is one of my favorite top coats and you guys know how essential a good top coat is. Cause what is the point of doing all your gorgeous art if you can't seal it in? Oh my goodness, and upon sealing this in, the way the glitter was speaking to me, I was just like, I have to charge you up so I can see how you glow. I also wanted to show you the nail at a couple different angles, just so that you could see how like very fine this glitter is. Like it did not bulk out my design at all. So I will be able to carefree paint on there and not worry that like I am painting on a mountain, right? <laughs> we don't want to paint on mountains. Or, or do we? No, no we don't. <laughs> so going in with the white gel paint, I am going to outline the little jelly. And then I was like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> we're gonna outline that jelly. And then we are gonna move into some more sugaring because I just need this nail to glow. See it from outer space. As many of you know, I'm a mermaid, but one of my favorite places to go is the Toronto Ripley's Aquarium. Believe it or not, it is phenomenal. There is so many different like levels to it and I just can't get over like there's everything there. Starfishies and there's like you walk through this area that's like Canadian waters and then it goes all throughout um, different like tropical fish and there's sharks and manta rays and sawfish and just like the coolest like sea creatures that you could ever see. But my favorite part about going to the aquarium is going to the Ray Bay, Sting Ray Bay. Oh my goodness, if I can find pictures, I'll have to include it in the next video. But there's, there's this area where, you know, there's a petting area and the stingrays come and you can take like, you know, your two fingers and kind of gently touch the stingray. But I find like there's so many people there and so many kids splashing and stuff. A lot of the time the stingrays actually know how to swim in a way to avoid getting touched at all. So there is an area on the opposite side of all of that magic where if you kind of put your hand down to like your elbow, about your wrist-ish will be into the water. But it's not like, it's in the petting area, but it's on the opposite side. And as long as you're not hanging over, none of the associates have an issue with you like touching the water. But the thing is, is that these gorgeous creatures are so energy oriented. So what my favorite thing to do is, I just gently put my hands there and I wait and they come to me. My partner, when we went on a date there, was so shocked. She's like, they're literally letting you touch them from like their head all the way down their body. They kept coming up in like circles for like essentially like cuddles. They are such lovable creatures, so smooth and silky and 
I just had to share that story because that is one of my favorite things to do when I go to the Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. Just love on those stingrays. They are just the cutest. So I had to go in with this Betsy glitter that's almost like a moonstone glow. I had to add this around the background. I just needed the nail to be a little bit more magical. And I found that the pink glow was really pretty, but it wasn't giving me exactly what I needed. So I just had to add a little bit more glow and make this nail pop. So it's hilarious. I like geeked out about the stingrays, but a part of the reason why I wanted to share that story is they have an entire jellyfish wall that is surrounded by mirrors. And I can't describe to you how breathtaking it is when you walk in there and it's all lit up. You see all of these Pacific sea nettles and there's an area with like the moon jellyfish and they're just so like you just understand that nature is just so magnificent and that this universe is so beautiful and that each creature is so unique because I literally get lost uh, for hours just staring at this gorgeous it's like a huge tank and that is by far one of my favorite things so looking at this nail it was embodying that gorgeous jellyfish wall so I had to share that story as well so we've just sugared all of that gorgeous glow that it's like a beautiful iridescent like almost like a clear it doesn't have much color to it but when you put it in and charge it up it actually glows like a, a light blue green so i had to add that one in So all the times you see me kind of dusting off or cleaning the nail, that is definitely after I've cured it. I do not do that process until I've cured her. Um, and as you see, I was like, no, I need to get a little rough with her. <laughs> I need to make sure that she can be as smooth as can be because this design actually didn't require too much buffing. So I just wanted to make sure everything was super flush. But I was so like, I can't describe to you in person this nail lights up so much and as light refracts and it's just so pretty let alone when it charges up in the sunlight or you know your lamp and then all of a sudden at night you've got a light show <laughs> I can't describe how much this community means to me. I don't know where I would be without you beautiful humans. You guys have quickly become my family and I just love you guys from the bottom of my heart. To everyone leaving the most beautiful comments and coming video after video for this SpongeBob series, it means the world to me. I put my heart and soul into these videos and just seeing your guys reaction I can't describe to you how much that means so I am just jumping through the screen giving you the biggest hug this is the final product and I'm gonna show you what it looks like charged up and in like complete darkness but just thank you so much for coming for part four the jellyfish we are in the jellyfish fields <laughs> And I can't wait to see you for part five, Miss Sandy Cheeks. We are gonna be putting her on nail five so that all of the friends can be together with, for this set. <laughs> ah, I just love you guys so much and I'm so excited now. We are going into the glow and the dark magic. So enjoy this and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Mwah. I'm sorry, I had to pop back in and thank Miss Envy for this little trick. So this is an amazing way to be able to see your glow in the dark if it's still daylight or if you don't have like a perfectly dark area. 
in that lamp, chef's kiss, like the way that looks. I just can't get over like the bioluminescence. Everything came out exactly how I envisioned. So just thank you guys so much. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe bell and that notification so you don't miss any future videos. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Mwah.